Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge development: Diane Feinstein to be investigated. There may be more than one silver lining over the whole Kavanaugh mess. The first one is I expect him to be confirmed to the Supreme Court today. The Republicans claim to have the votes they need. The second is that Senator Diane Feinstein, DCA, is going to be investigated over all of this and justly so. Feinstein is about to reap what she has sown. She has made a mockery of the Supreme Court nomination process. She has stomped on due process and the rule of law. Worst of all, she has taken the reputation of an outstanding judge and dragged it and his family through the mud over sheer lies. Feinstein has destroyed the lives of the innocent Kavanaugh family because of her hatred of President Trump and the Constitution. The senator is now being examined for her alleged mistreatment of Kavanaugh's accuser, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Feinstein brazenly used the woman for political purposes and didn't give a flying crap what it did to her or her life. She was expendable in this political war we find ourselves in. Senator Tom Cotton, RR, is not letting it go. He appeared on CBS Face the Nation and ripped Feinstein a new one for her shameless use of Ford. The Democrats have disgraced this process and the United States Senate in the orchestrated smear campaign of character assassination they've run against Judge Kavanaugh, Cotton said. She has been victimized by the Democrats in this process, he added concerning Ford. They betrayed her own requests for confidentiality. They leaked this to the media at the last minute because they are on a search and destroy mission for Brett Kavanaugh. That's dead on and exactly what was done here. Although, I am still not convinced that Ford was not a willing participant in all this from the beginning. Cotton found Ford sympathetic and sincere in her testimony. Personally, I didn't. But what Cotton could not stomach was the disgusting way that the Democratic leadership weaponized an alleged victim of sexual assault. Democratic leaders, have betrayed her, Cotton said. This is no surprise to most Americans. We know there is virtually nothing the left won't do to get and keep power no matter who it hurts. From the Conservative Tribune Cotton's most pointed revelation, however, was the looming investigation into how Feinstein handled Ford's request of confidentiality. Diane Feinstein and her staff are going to face an investigation for why they leaked, Ford's confidential letter alleging Kavanaugh assaulted her, Cotton said. She came forward confidentially to Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein did not share that with the proper authorities. If these allegations of misappropriate handling of confidential information are true, it makes Feinstein look a thousand times worse than she already does. What a despicable and inhumane use of a person's potential trauma for political gain. It's no different than someone profiting off a dog-fighting ring. Perhaps the best part of all of this is that Feinstein may have brought this on herself. If you stuck around for the very end of the first major Kavanaugh hearing, that sound you heard was Ford's body being run over by a bus. After being grilled about how the confidential letter leaked, Feinstein had the unmitigated gall to blame Ford. It's my understanding that her story was leaked before the letter became public and she testified that she had spoken to her friends about it and it's most likely that that's how the story leaked, and she had been asked by, the, press, Feinstein said. Cotton was very blunt in a CBS interview. There is a well-established process of confidentiality on the committee. Diane Feinstein could have shown that letter to Chuck Grassley and the two of them, as the leaders of that committee could have shared it with the FBI who could have discreetly conducted this inquiry in July and in August without betraying Miss Ford's confidences. And they have betrayed her. They pointed her to lawyers who lied to her and did not tell her that the committee staff was willing to go to California to interview her. All that now all of that is water under the bridge. Those lawyers are going to face a D.C. bar investigation into their misconduct. Diane Feinstein and her staff are going to face an investigation for why they leaked that. All of this could have been done discreetly it happens hundreds of times hundreds of times every year in the Judiciary Committee. Feinstein could have avoided all of this and said at the time that neither she nor her staff had anything to do with the leak. But that's not what happened. She blamed the victim and then did an idiotic thing by arrogantly making herself the center of the story. Feinstein's behavior wasn't as vile and reprehensible here. Both Tom Cotton and Lindsey Graham are going after Feinstein over the leak of this confidential letter from Ford. I hope she gets nailed over it. Both of these men are tenacious and will go after Feinstein with vigor and they'll be relentless while doing it. She's earned this and so much more for defaming a good man. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.